Good evening. Thanks for joining us here this Friday right out of the gate with breaking news to start off. We've been following all day 15 hours in an I-75 northbound at State Route 795 still close. It's all because of this. The driver of a semi hit the Lime City Road overpass at about two o'clock this morning. Trent Croce is at the scene for us tonight and Trent, any idea when this might reopen? Jeff, ODOT crews told me they hope to get two lanes open by midnight tonight. As you can see here behind me endlessly for 15 hours, like you said, crews have been working around to get those damaged portions of this overpass removed so they can get the roads up and running again. Now, the Lime City Road overpass, they don't know entirely sure if that will be open, it could be take weeks or months. Their main plan is to get the northbound lanes open by midnight. And tonight, they also say the person that's done this is in custody. Since my tenure being 18 year trooper, this is the worst one that I've seen uh, so far. Police say this man, 43 year old Lavaris Ruth, is responsible for the damage. They say it was Ruth's oversized load that hit the overpass early this morning. Debris from that impact hit another car, and that driver followed Ruth's semi and led officers to find him. Ruth was arrested for driving without a valid license and leaving the scene of an accident. They're misdemeanors, so you can have up to six months in jail if he's convicted uh, at, you know, at, for those charges. Uh, but more importantly, what's important is that nobody was seriously injured. This easily could result in a fatality. Papura says the witness was not hit, but had minor injuries from the concrete, which went through their windshield. The debris caused minor damage to several other vehicles too, but ODOT says these things aren't the most common. There are undersides that do get maybe just slightly hit, but oversized loads are supposed to have a permit. They go through our permitting department and through our permitting process, and that's how vehicles are rerouted around things like this that might be a height restriction. As crews work to clean up the lanes and perform the deconstruction of the overpass, there will still need to be more repairs in the future. We have to go through our traditional bid process to find a contractor who is able to make those repairs. So those are likely going to be weeks or months down the road. But right now we have our emergency contractor on scene who's actually doing the deconstruction just so we can get the interstate back open. ODA advises drivers traveling northbound to take I-280. And then the Ohio State Highway Patrol says if you notice any suspicious driving or notice any reports on the road, dial 677. Reporting in Wood County, Trent Croce, WTOL 11.